Welcome everybody! Today we are going to be playing a map game 4. We shall be playing as a very special guest. We will continue checking out Baltic Focus Trees, starting with Latvia. I do prefer this path that I'm gonna go for with Estonia, just because it's even more ridiculous, because you don't have a land border. But, I'll be honest, the Ostland path of Latvia is, yeah, hmm. It's the weakest one. Baltic on Taunt with Scandinavia. Please remind me, we can do that after AAT comes out. This could be actually pretty fun. If history has shown us anything, then this focus won't do anything because Sweden will go hyper monarchist, Norway will go communist, Finland will just go isolationist and Denmark will join us, but then Denmark will immediately be gobbled up by the Germans. We shall restore the workers' republic. As for research, you know the drill or the cog. I think I'm gonna go with communist factories. A navy, we actually do have a navy, so congratulations. Amans Kalpax. Congratulations. Uh. Uh, don't think we have, yeah, we don't have anybody interesting. I mean, we can get Kirinstins. We shall enter the opposition. And because we're Latvia, we do have some very fun PP gains. This is gonna take ages. That's a very fun pie chart. It's an even spread. That's what you like to see in a democratic society. I mean, that's, yeah, we shall make concessions for the Catholics. Catholics? I don't know how my Germans left in there. Lithuania and especially Estonia, I really like the Estonian focus tree. The Baltic path is so cool that you just, that everyone just gets this piece. It's so simple. And then the communist path, like, it's simple. Everyone has the same path here. That's cool. Same for the democratic path. I mean, mostly, you know, like, you have to fight the vapes here, but you still get the Baltic taunt. And then you get Estonia. I like it. I like it. Go shoot everybody. Oh yeah, the, this cheese works for the civil war. Boop, 11 divisions. Just wait a little bit. There we go, they have orc and we've won the civil war. I love, I love hearts of iron. It's so easy. I'm gonna play a little bit strange here because usually you would go down here, get the Baltic SSR, get Belarus early, but I'm gonna wait until Ribbentrop fires, which does mean we do have enough time for this side of the focus tree. And the Forest Brothers? Yeah, they just get equipment and such, which doesn't really cause us problems right now. But eh, might as well get it now. Playing a communist nation is just nice. You just get to do stuff. Limited to limited conscription. We can just go to war economy. Everything is great. Except for the starving civilians, you know. One research bonus for support artillery. Not artillery, support artillery. That's interesting. It's odd. We could improve this division template, but we don't have the resources or factories right now. Oh, we need two more civ factories. And then can we unchain our education system has been purged? We can go to war econ. Yay! We can unchain our education because we have 16 factories now. That was perfectly timed with the focus as well. And then let's get one steal from El Soviets. Mm, no. No, let's get one steal from Sweden. Okay, looks like we don't even get the invites. Not even this one matters. So we can seize the means of production, which gives us so many factories. <laughs> Sucks that we have to make our guns out of nothing. At least they have steel now. We must be ready soon. So let's just do this. They have gotten the memel, but that's fine. We shall take it back soon enough. Oh my God, oh, those are the visions. Now, I don't know if, if I go for Latvia, Belarus, SSR now. It might work, but we probably can't, like once the civil war kicks in, the land will flip to Belarus, but we won't be able to influence it now. That's just my call. Might be that it doesn't work like that at all. Waiting this long has a few benefits. Number one, Estonia and Lithuania can continue doing their focuses, get more facts, which in turn, once we annex them, I mean, just look at that. Estonia, 20 civs, 13 mils, and Lithuania, just, uh, I hope all of, you, all of your industry was in Memel, because if not, then this is just pathetic. Poland will create more factories. The Soviets might create more factories in these areas, because these are high infrastructure areas. Oh, wait, if we declare war on Lithuania, uh, yeah, that's the problem with waiting too long. Oh God, I forgot. I forgot, we need to contest. Ugh. Soviet Union is influencing our politics, which does mean non-aggression pact, just to be safe. There we go. 
This time, the British have not guaranteed Lithuania. I didn't even need to worry. Ribbentrop fired. There we go. And we actually do get... Yep, we do get the other stuff as well. Oh, also, one thing I forgot to mention. This thing is still broken. It's not been fixed magically by a Klabautermann. Ah, oh, strikes again! I j I'll just have to accept that they will blow over, honestly. I can't do anything about them. I don't have the PP right now. 70 days to take out Estonia, that's possible. Just to make this quicker, you shall even be awarded a medal. M military merit. And we can, of course, just get a Sweden and Finland as well. But we don't have the navy. We have a small navy. We have a navy. God, I just have to trade everything away. I just deleted this front line. Why did you go back to it? Yay, we are the Baltic Union. They have two strategic reasons to not ally us. That's a shame. I don't even know why. I've done nothing to the Soviets. Wartime. Let's send volunteers. We can send four. Exactly. Let's send these four. Yeah, sure. We can't construct anything anymore, but it's fine. Why did they take so long? You just had to walk here. Oh, this is this is so sucky. This po they, they will just pocket us. Oh god. I think we're gonna lose. And then I might be able to counter pocket this pocket. There we go. They're all encircled. You attack here. I have to be very careful here because... Yeah, okay, no, you get pinned. Yeah, that's just... The Baltic Belarus has no divisions. So you have to play very weirdly. Uh, but it looks like we're holding now. I might be able to do something funny here. Yeah, I probably can because it doesn't look like they have any divisions at all. Sure, these units are all encircled, but it shouldn't matter once I take these two VPs. Come on, take Goblin. Haha! -ha! As you can see, yeah. Yeah. One thing I love about this focus tree, Stalin just doesn't give a shit. He just accepts that, that you just stole all of Belarus. Granted, he does justify on you, but that's just because you're a Baltic nation, not because you stirred any sentiment in his country. Yeah, Soviet ultimatum. And now things are gonna get very interesting very quickly. We do have a decent amount of factories, 70 factories, that's pretty good. But now we need to play a very special game. A game of, oh god, the Soviets are knocking. Don't think there's no aggression pack will hold for long. Okay, that's, the, yeah. I'll our economy is just dead now, even though we're at 60% stability and 90% war support with 100% communist support. For some reason, we still have strikes. Uh, I'm also gonna prepare something, just a nice little home in Vladivostok, just in case I need to flee. There's a few things we can get now, but honestly, I'm gonna get PP now, because we need to go to limited exports. This is just way too crippling. Oh, uh, let's just do this, I guess. Oh, no, we need, we need to produce trains. We can can't even remove one additional tile here. Oh, this is not gonna hold for long. Ow! They're pushing. And I don't have manpower. And then extensive conscription. Let's get you going. Get PP for limited exports. Or even a closed economy. And we can get total mob. Total mob is not that high on my priority list right now. We just have to pray that the Soviets are never gonna invade us. Navally. Why are you all going away? I can hear one sound that I do not want to hear. It's gonna be costly, but I need to pin like that. There we go, and then you can just support attack. Boom! Oh, first attack of the Soviets. Repelled. We are holding. We are, by all the, the definitions, holding. Uh, the biggest problem right now is just for importing anything, we now need convoys. Oh my god! If we lose war support, we might just cap. This might be it. Yep! <laughs> the little Baltic that could. 30k for 800k. Without planes, without entrenched tanks. Oh, okay. Don't take Pernu. No, if they take Kurosade, then that's probably also it. Um, counter attack or pin. Pin this word. We survived another day. <laughs> Women. With that, I think we can start working on a few crabs. Yes! Free guns! Thank you very much. That one shouldn't. Yeah, they should walk into this one. We're so close to calving right now. Even a random straggler can just kill us. Choo! Back to Tallinn. Scurry back to the hole. Yes, Barbarossa is coming. It's time for the counterattack immediately because the Germans will not give us our land back. We have a war that they may be drawn into. Bro, that's a defensive war. You would get stuff out of this war. I'm not the AI. The machinations of the AI are mysterious and complex. Funnily enough, this could actually screw him over. Not giving me my core territory back could screw Hitler over. If I were to cap now, all of this would flip to the Soviets. Granted, the Soviets won't be able to cap me at this point. We have supply problems though. Thank you, Germany. 
Thank you for nothing, honestly. I will remember that. Honestly, at this point, I am just playing Ostland. I'm playing Ostland with extra steps. And another seven divisions that are just stuck again. <sighs> I wish there was an option where you can just be like, yeah, okay, neutral nations, I don't care about front lines. So stuff like this doesn't happen. Oh, can you stop with those front lines, please? No matter how often I see it, it's still annoying. At least still not falling. Don't know what the allies are doing. They've just been standing here for the past year. Oh no, we no longer get the effects of communist influence. The nightmare is over. Since I've been asked what my division templates are, first off, make sure you don't have guns. That's very effective for making the enemy push you. Then make sure you fight in no supply areas so that you lose guns. If we can get a supply up here, that's so big. Come on! Stop sending troops in there. Okay, then let's build a railroad while we're here. Thankfully, I didn't have to build a scuff because somebody took two, actually three tiles. But hey, building out the railway network is always beneficial for the people. And that's what communism is about, you know. Actually, it's about starving your own people to death, I guess. If history has taught us anything. I mean, I've read the books, but this guy is a professional. I can't argue with that. I'm just an armchair professional. So once you made sure that you don't have any guns anymore and you don't have supply anymore, you can take a look at your templates. And these are pretty much just nine ones, nine infantry, one artillery. That's my bread and butter with engineers, support RT and support AA. That is the bare minimum I always go for. If I have the additional capacity, I will also go for support flame tank which are just the cheapest ones you can go for with dozer blades and then just fuel tanks so they can stay longer in low supply regions and then also logistics companies if you for example fight the Soviet Union. Sometimes I just don't bother. We do have 60% collaboration with the Soviets. Feels like we've not even we've not done anything against the Soviets. It sucks that we can't get our final research slot because we will need to join a faction for that. There we go now we can attack from multiple angles. Multiple arc angles. <laughs> I might change my opinion about this focus tree. It is ridiculous that the Soviets haven't capped yet. They are currently fighting with their faction and will only surrender when all major factions members in this war has capitulated. I never paid attention to this, but there are so many arrows in this. When all major factions members in this war has capitulated. That's two. That's a lot. That's two more than one, one less than one more than two, and one more than one. It's a professional company. They're Swedish. They should know English. It's almost the same word. Sometimes I can't even believe what you're spending money on. For example, the Gollum game. Sponsor of this... Please not. No. <laughs> Not even if you put a gun against my head. If you told me I had to sponsor this game and put a gun against my head, I would just pull the trigger myself. 90% collaboration with the Soviets. I think collaboration governments only work for lowering cap percentage. Only work if you are the one that the Soviet. Yeah, it only works if you're the one that the Soviets would cap to. That makes sense. Right now they would cap to the Germans because the Germans have the most war score. What have you done to Vichy? Honestly, what have you done to Vichy? Build a port up here as well. Honestly, I'm just gonna build port everywhere. If that's what it takes to survive, then I shall do it. It's pure pain. Why am I still invading the Soviets every single game? Why do I still just tell myself this is fun with cat myself? <laughs> I'm looking forward to the day when I have a, just a good one. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's proof enough that my brain is fucked. I was about to say I'm looking forward to the day when I have a kinky girlfriend, but like... <laughs> I play Hearts of Fire and I'm never gonna have a girlfriend. In theory, I would not be looking forward to the day I have a kinky girlfriend and then in bed we have all- we do all of the kinky stuff and then she's like, what are you into? And... I don't think I would be able to describe this. That's not Marzo. It's close. I think it's worse because it's mental. Oh, we're getting pushed back. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. God, I'm just losing all of my manpower. Well, let's go to all adult stuff. <laughs> I could have just taken a picture of Karl Marx. That would have helped me. I really hope they rework supply at some point. They won't, but I don't know, man. So many in your countries already have buffs for building supply hubs. I feel like that's already a sign that even Paradox admits, okay, something needs to be changed here. There we 
go. We shall build more railways. I wanted to detect the Germans after this, but depending on how well the Allies are doing, there won't be a Germany. And if there is a Germany, then I'll get like 2% of all score. Ooh, actually, if we can take Kazan, that's gonna be insanely good. Because then all of these troops don't have supply anymore. Oh, well, not proper supply at least. Plus, that's two more victory provinces. Although, that's just not... It just won't matter. 30%. 30%. I don't think so. No. Pockets, 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 pockets. Are you serious? That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, Paradox. I get it, Stalin. You know? Okay. No. That was... So, that was some weird bug with collaboration governments. He just declared war on the UK and then he capped. So all in all, I have no idea how collaboration governments help with lowering capitulation percentage. It might not matter at all if you're a war leader and this was just a bug or anything else because I honestly, I... Nah. Oh, fuck you, Hitler. Fuck you. No. I... Whoops, I accidentally annexed the Soviets. We can I join the allies? Yay. Oh wow, something incredible just happened. Bismarck himself subscribed. That's... <laughs> I made it in the world. Yes, we've retaken Memel, we now have every core state. And we can also take Cheburek. Oh, Stalingrad, how fitting. <laughs> I love this tag. China except Hong Kong. CNXHK. Yes, it makes sense, but like... <laughs> I love how Poland is retaking it because of me, and they don't flip it back to Denmark, but the US does. <laughs> Please don't tell me my units are stuck there now. <laughs> this game, man! <laughs> I just hate it. I hate it so fucking hard. And now you should just go to a front line, right? Nope. <laughs> then I'll stuck to the Danish front. I can do this. I can as unassign these divisions. But because I can't delete this front line, any unit that finishes its job will now go to Denmark. To Sierland as a vacation. And there's nothing I can do unless I delete the entire front line. Both front lines even. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave it there and just hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Although it most certainly will. <laughs> I think that's what I do to keep myself sane. Because I sometimes just do this. Tambien. E. There we go. 57 states. And honestly, we are just Russia. There we go. Uh, that looks much... Yeah, I'm not gonna fight the allies for that. But this is it. This is Russia. I mean, the Baltic Socialist 